Campbell. I just wanted to say congratulations on your wedding. I can't believe you finally find someone who would marry you with that face of yours. <laughs> I mean, some people might not be shocked, but I always thought you'd die alone. <laughs> Enough, Cindy. You're being a total jerk right now, and I haven't done anything to you. Can't you just be happy for me for once in your life? Why should I be happy for you when you're nothing but a nagging old witch? Oh, please. You still think I'm nagging you all the time? I can't recall a single time when I was ever a bother to you. Don't lie to yourself, Campbell. You know you're always trying to tell me how to live my life like you're some kind of expert. That's not true at all. I hardly ever give you any advice, and the only time I did was ages ago, okay? Yeah, right. You just love to make me feel bad about myself, don't you? Cindy, I think I know what this is about. You're still mad about that one thing that happened, aren't you? When you parked your bike in a no-parking zone, and I told you to move it. I was only trying to help you out, you know? I didn't mean to lecture you, but you wouldn't listen to me and got a little defensive. Like I was asking you to chop off your hand or something. No, you don't get it. I know what the sign said, but everyone parks their bikes there. Nobody ever gets in trouble for it. You're so out of touch with reality. Just stop acting like you know better than me, okay? I don't need you to tell me what to do. I'm a grown-up for crying out loud. I know where I can park my damn bike. You should have just minded your own business. I told you the same thing back then, and I'll tell you again. It's not about the bike, Cindy. It's about the example you're setting for your kid. You're going to be a mom soon, and you can't teach them to ignore the rules. Don't you see how that will affect them in the long run? Ugh, you're so freaking annoying. This is why I can't stand you. You're such a nagging old witch. Are you really going to ruin your wedding day by talking to me like this? Maybe you should just call it off. I bet nobody wants to attend the wedding of someone who treats their sister-in-law like crap. The only reason I'm talking to you like this is because you started it. You're the one who texted me first. You're seriously messed up, Cindy. You can't let go of something that happened two years ago, and you act like I'm always on your case when I barely even talk to you. And I'm going to keep bringing it up because it's hilarious to see you get worked up over it. And I'll make sure to come up with an even nastier name for you next time based on it. Well, anyway, enjoy your wedding, Campbell. I hope it's the worst day of your life. What the hell? You're insane. Did Cindy get under your skin again, Campbell? Come on. She should know better than to mess with you on your wedding day, right? Dalton, you have to talk to her. You're her big brother. You should be the one to put her in her place, not me. But if I confront her, it will only make things worse. And her husband seems to be having a good time with her. What? What does her husband have to do with anything? You're such a lousy brother to her. Do you have any idea how much shit I have to deal with from Cindy every single day? She's calling me a lecturing old hag now, Dalton. Wow. I thought she was calling you much worse than that. What? How can you say that? I won't let anyone call me a lecturing old hag on my wedding day. I don't care how sweet she is to you. I won't let her get away with being a spoiled brat around me. Well, maybe you should just let it go. Let it go? You want me to let it go? How can I let it go when she's saying all these awful things to me and we're paying for their bills all the time? I don't want to help them anymore if she's going to act like a total bitch. Well, about that. What about that? I know you love her and you want to keep the peace because you're her big brother. But I don't love her right now. All I get from her is hate every time I talk to her. I'm done with this. I'm not giving them any more money. You can do it yourself. I can't do this alone, Campbell. You know that my money is not enough for them. And you have to remember why we're helping them. Not because she's my sister but because her husband is going through a rough patch. His company is downsizing, and he's not earning as much as he used to. He's not even coming to the wedding today because he's so stressed out about work. And if it's not the stress, it might be his depression kicking in. I just want to make his life a little easier. And I like him too, so you don't have to convince me of that. But the fact that he has to deal with Cindy all day must be making him miserable, right? I mean, she's the worst wife ever, and he knows it. But he told me himself that they're fine, and there's nothing we can do about them. Oh my god, this is supposed to be the happiest day of our lives. But I'm not feeling happy at all. I can't handle this crap, Dalton. We have to do something about it. I know, and I'm sorry. I'll try to talk to her and calm her down a bit. You better do that soon, okay? I've had it with Cindy and her bullshit. Hey, hey, your wedding's about to start, right? There's still some time left before it begins. Why do you ask? Do you have something else to say to me? I just wanted to say I think all the people inside your family look really poor and pathetic. <laughs>
I just saw some of them walking into the reception hall from outside, and wow, they all look like they have no clue how to live. You could just say, like, they're all lame. You know, I can take you talking bad about me all the time, but now you're going to talk bad about my family and friends? Can you please stop that right now? What? Jeez. Listen, I'm not talking bad about them. I'm just telling the truth, okay? And just when I thought things might get better for you, you had to invite all these losers to your wedding. I bet they all gave you a lot of money and gifts to be here, right? I doubt that coming from people like them. I don't care what you believe. I know you hate me for whatever reason, so can you just zip it? What? I'm giving you some money too, you know. So telling me to zip it is just mean. You're the worst bride ever. If people online saw how you're treating me, you'd be canceled for sure. Whatever you think of me, the only one who'd be canceled is you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and speaking of me giving you money, I made sure to give you a whole five cents. What? We're close, right? So I wanted to give you those whole five cents to show you how much I love you. <laughs> but sadly, you won't have me around for much longer, okay? What? What do you mean I won't have you around for much longer? Today's my wedding day, and after this, you're supposed to be my sister-in-law, right? Well, that might be true, but I want you and my brother to break up as soon as possible. I've been praying for my brother to find a much better woman than you. I can't believe this. What the hell is wrong with you? Why are you such a nasty jerk? It's your fault for being such a loser, okay? Anyone would be as mean as me if I'm having to listen to you lecture them all the time. That's no excuse for being this way. Unbelievable. Are you the same way with your husband that you're always with? What do you mean by that? He and I are very happy together. Campbell, he's just going through a lot of stuff at work right now, and he has to be there all day and night. I'm staying by his side, supporting him every step of the way. I'm not sure that's true, though. What? You're being really rude, Campbell. You have no idea what's going on in our lives. So why don't you just mind your own business? You've no right to say that. What? Now you're going to lecture me again? How awful. I gave you so much money as a gift for your wedding and this is how you treat me? You gave me a lot? All you gave me was five cents from your pocket. But for your wedding. Campbell, five cents is a lot of money, right? I mean, I hate you so much and I'm leaving before the wedding starts anyway. Well, then I'm done giving you guys any more money. What? That's it, Cindy. I'm done. You and your husband are not getting any more money from me. Wait, what? How can you say that? The money is from my brother, not you. He's the one who decides what to do with it. You have no right to tell him how to spend his money. We're married now, Cindy. It's our money, not his. I have every right to say how I want to use it. So you're going to cut us off just because you hate me? What about my husband? He's working his ass off right now. He couldn't even come to the wedding because he's so busy. If you stop sending us money, he won't be able to save his company. Actually, Cindy, I just talked to your husband about that. What? I was worried about him, so Dalton and I called to check on him. And he told us he had a fever and he couldn't stop coughing. That's not what you think. He said he might be able to go back to work next week, but he was sorry he couldn't make it to the wedding. What the hell is going on, Cindy? You told me he was working hard and that's why he couldn't be here. But the truth is, he's depressed and sick, right? Well, it's because of his cold that he's feeling down. It's really tough on him, okay? He can't even afford to see a doctor. That's why we need your money. But he said he's going back to work next week. What's that about? I thought you said he was struggling to keep his company afloat and he wasn't making any money. Well, that's... that's just him trying to sound positive. How long are you going to keep lying to me? You're the worst liar ever, Cindy. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not lying about anything, okay? I'm just worried about my husband. And I asked my brother to help us out since my husband can't. You knew your husband was having trouble at work and you used that to get money from Dalton. And you lied about why he couldn't come today. You said he was working, but he was actually sick, right? No, that's not true. I've already told Dalton everything and we're not giving you any more money, so deal with it. You can't do this to me. He was lying to you. I'm gonna talk to my brother right now and see what he says. Go ahead and talk to your brother. Hey Dalton, Campbell's talking crazy right now. She said she's not going to send us money anymore. That's a lie, right? We're not sending you money. Why would we? After hearing what your husband said, we called him earlier. He said his company is doing fine and he didn't lose any pay. Well, that was... And you lying about him working hard was also a lie, right? He said he has a cold and that's why he couldn't come to the wedding. 
you were so greedy for money that you made up this huge lie. Look, I had no choice, okay? I've been needing money for a long time. If I asked you for money, you'd never give me anything because you're a cheapskate, right? So it's your fault I had to lie to you. What did you say? You better watch your mouth before I come over there and teach you a lesson. Do you have any idea how messed up you are? Talking to me like that? So you're really gonna cut us off, huh? You're not gonna help us out anymore, huh? That's right. Your husband didn't even know that Campbell and I were sending you money. You've been keeping it all for yourself, right? We're not going to be your cash cows anymore. I didn't mean to keep all the money, okay? I wanted to tell him about it, but I never got the chance. I don't care what you say. I'm not giving you any more money. Campbell is furious with me for helping you this long, and I don't blame her. Cindy, what the hell is wrong with you? How could you treat Campbell like that when she's been giving you money? I told you before, didn't I? I'm not gonna let some loser like her yell at me and lecture me all the time. A loser? All she did was tell you not to park your bike where it wasn't allowed. She's not a loser for that. She's a mature adult. Something you clearly don't understand. She has no right to get mad at me for that. It was just a bike. I parked it there and said no bike on the sign. The way you treated my wife is unbelievable. I can't believe you're my sister. I know I screwed up by letting this go on for so long, but I can't take it anymore. You're still causing trouble for her after two years. I see how it is. You're going to choose your wife over your sister, huh? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. After everything you've done, I can't help you anymore. You're always in the wrong, no matter how you spin it. You're the worst. You're a total jerk of a brother. I hope you rot in hell for this. You're even worse than I imagined, Cindy. Hey, you have to fix this now. I admit I screwed up. But if you need to get my brother to chill out. You screwed up? <laughs> Sorry, Cindy, but you're on your own. I just had a nice chat with your husband, and I spilled the beans about how awful you are. What? Your husband is pissed off right now. Do you think he'll be fine? Oh no, he's calling me right now. You better answer that call and beg for his forgiveness, okay? If you don't own up to what you did, he might dump you. How can you do this to me? You're a disgusting piece of trash. You're not even a woman. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm just being a grown-up and dealing with a problem that you caused. So stop complaining to me and answer that call. This is ridiculous. Hey, what am I supposed to do? He said he can't forgive me for this. He even mentioned divorce. Please, you have to do something to change his mind. No thanks. I think he's better off divorcing you. He doesn't need you as his wife. You're done with this, right? I mean, you don't have to send me any more money, right? This is not about money anymore, but about how you dug yourself a deep hole and you can't get out. Whether this has to do with some debt or something, you deserve what's coming to you for lying to us like that. What? Debt? What are you talking about? Well, listen to this. I was walking around the wedding and I heard some people talking. One of them was your friend, I think. She said to another friend, you're working as a stripper and you have a lot of debt to pay off, right? What? I get it now. That's why you made up this big lie and wanted all that money for me and my brother. Well, whatever the reason, you're going to pay for it. This is the result of your terrible actions. No, that was just a stupid joke she was making. I've never been a stripper in my life, okay? And who's saying that? They can't say things like that in front of my sister-in-law. Well, I've already heard enough from them. And I've been texting all of that to your husband. What? Why would you do that? You're a total witch. You're going to ruin my life. And I told you that you brought this on yourself. You need to find a better job and pay off your debt. Then maybe you'll be happier, okay? Shut up. You've destroyed my life. Campbell, can you at least get my brother to understand me? Wait, this can't be real. What? What's wrong? I can't reach him. It says contact has been blocked. Really? <laughs> well, I guess your brother's done with you. That's funny because he always loved you as his little sister. This is all messed up. I just wanted to come here and celebrate his wedding with him. This is all messed up. I'm going to tell my mom and dad about this. No, you're not. You're not welcome here anymore. What? Actually, just a minute ago, Dalton opened your present. And he found only five cents. And that letter you wrote to me full of horrible insults. He was speechless after reading that. 
He said it was like a hate letter from a kid. So what? I was just joking around with that gift and letter. Well, your parents saw him open that present and read that letter. They were not happy with you at all. I don't think they ever expected their daughter to do something like this at her brother's wedding. No, wait. That letter was for you, not him. It doesn't matter who it was for. And since that happened, your family told the staff to kick you out. So can you please shut up and go home? You said you were leaving anyway, right? But that was... Look, you're being really mean to me. The only one that's been mean today is the person that only gave five cents as a present at a wedding. And then proceeded to write a letter saying vulgar things about the bride. For the rest of the day, you won't be able to come back into this building. So just get lost. Not even mom and dad will answer their phones now. How could they? I'm going to be alone after this. And that's the way you belong. It sucks, but you asked for all of it. Maybe this time you'll learn to act like a responsible adult and start a new life with new people who learn to like you. This is all the worst. Why are you talking to me like this doesn't affect you at all? You may have been really upset with me because I always lectured you like you think, but look at it this way. Now, I won't be around you anymore for you to have to listen to me teach you how to be a good person. I think when I'm not there anymore warning you about what you should be doing, you'll understand why I was trying to help you. What are you talking about? You have no right saying that to me now. When I'm never going to have anyone around me again. Well, I was just telling you how things will be now. The wedding is going to be starting really soon here. Hey, hold on a moment. Please help me out here. No way. I can't anymore. I hope you can find yourself a new lecturing old hag to be there for you when you need to learn a lesson. Cindy realized she was banned from the wedding and had to go home crying. Her husband was furious when he found out what she did, and he had a divorce paper waiting for her. But instead of apologizing, she kept making more excuses and blaming me and my husband for everything. He had enough of her and told her to pack her stuff and get out. She couldn't believe what he was saying, but before she could argue, he threw her out of the apartment and locked the door. He opened it again a few minutes later, gave her all her things, and slammed it in her face. Cindy was kicked out for good, and she tried to reach her brother for help, but he blocked her after what she said to him. She had no way to contact him since then. She didn't even know where we lived. She had no choice but to go back to her parents. They got her a job at a factory and made her work there until she paid off all her debt. It's been a year since then, but she hasn't learned anything from her mistakes. She still blames everyone else for her problems. It makes me sad to see her like that. She complains to her coworkers about her family hates her, and she asks her few friends if they know who ratted her out at the wedding. I can't believe there are people like her who think they can do whatever they want and never face the consequences. But I guess she'll never change, and she can go to hell for all I care. As for Dalton and me, we had a wonderful wedding, and we're still happy after a year. I'm going to tell him tomorrow that I want to have a baby soon, and I hope he'll be excited. As for Cindy's ex-husband... He's given up on love and decided to be single for life, focusing on his work. I don't blame him, since his last wife was a witch who didn't care about him. I shouldn't have to say this, but I hope I never have to see Cindy's face again.